The Parade of Nobles is a mural painted on 24,000 tiles of local porcelain. It was built to soothe the pride of Saxony after it was incorporated into the newly formed country of Germany in the 1870s. It celebrates Dresden's Saxon heritage and its Wetten family dynasty. The artist carefully studied armor and clothing, accurately tracing the evolution of weaponry and fashions through the centuries. Way up at the very front of the parade, an announcer with a band and 12th century cheerleaders excitedly heralds the arrival of this wondrous procession. There are commoners from miners and farmers to carpenters and students. And ahead of them, the royals, with 35 names and dates marking 700 years of Vettin family rule. At the year 1694 stands Augustus the Strong, the most important of the Saxon kings. The Saxon ruler was one of the most powerful people in Germany. He was one of a handful of nobles who elected the Holy Roman Emperor. In the 18th century, the larger-than-life Augustus the Strong kicked off Saxony's Golden Age. His royal festival complex, called the Zwinger, is an example of how the king's extravagance made Dresden a European capital of culture. Here at the Nymph's Bath, Aristocrats relaxed with royals among cascading waterfalls. Today, the Zwinger is filled with fine museums. The mathematics and physics salon features scientific gadgets from the 16th to 19th century. Finely crafted and incorporating new discoveries with exuberance, the instruments are displayed like dazzling works of art. Imagine whipping out your pocket sundial in the year 1700 or a newfangled pocket watch in 1760 with a risque painting. This calculator from 1650, claiming to be the oldest surviving mechanical calculator, could carry the tens. European royal families aspired to have their own porcelain works, and the Vetten family had one of the best at nearby Meissen. In those days, a king portrayed in porcelain was a happy king. Augustus the Strong was obsessed with the stuff, he liked to say he had porcelain sickness. Here you can enjoy some of his symptoms under chandeliers in elegant galleries. You'll see fine table settings. He had a veritable porcelain zoo of exotic animals and beautiful birds. According to legend, for 151 of these Chinese vases, Augustus traded 600 soldiers complete with horses to Prussia. And here at the Zwinger, it just makes sense that the glockenspiel comes with 40 bells made of mice and porcelain. The delightful chimes are far sweeter than your typical bell. <laughs> 